Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Alright, in this video, I want to share you my latest build for KVM content and also the reason why you can skip your KVM events. Let's check this out. Alright, before we start, please support me to achieve 10k subscribers so you can share this video or you can give the thumb to like this video and also you can subscribe this channel. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, first thing first, uh, you can check your KVM activity in build menu. And go to the event tabs and see here yeah guild KVM so here you need five players to start matching the KVM event yeah so the KVM events we can do it three times a week yeah on Sunday then on Tuesday and Thursday yeah so three times per week okay uh, next what is the rewards or the benefit when you attend the KVM events first yeah as you can see here you need to complete three matches yeah to get these rewards yeah and also you have your guild to be the first rank or top 10 rank yeah because uh, higher ranking yeah in guild ranks yeah the higher contribution reward can be shared to guild member yeah this is the guild and the point rank for guild ranks so for the personal ranks yeah here as you can see here yeah there is a rank in kvm activity yeah so the higher rank you get the much box you get also here yeah number one rank in personal rank yeah uh, will get 64 box number two 56 box and go on yeah and try to achieve the highest rank yeah when doing kvm events because of what yeah this is my rank yeah number seven and every week you will get this box yeah yeah this box is has a chance to give us the good contribution coin or inscription one or pioneer ones yeah and these two items inscription one and pioneer one is really important for you to upgrade your shadow gear later so that's why you can't skip your kvm events yeah never skip it just do it yeah try to build your party and try to get your highest ranking yeah your good ranking and your personal ranking all right as you can see here yeah in scripted one and pioneer ones yeah so those two items the inscription one and pioneer one you can use it later in the shadow gear yeah so you can check here yeah with the magnifier icon and boom yeah see here inscription and pioneer yeah so that's two items from box kvm rewards you can spend that item in here yeah later yeah to increase your additional status or additional skills that needs inscription one items and also pioneer one items yeah and this is a really good additional status yeah that can boost your maybe damage or physical reduction or physical attack yeah penetration based on your job class yeah that's why again yeah i remind you never skip kvm and try to build your chemistry with your party to achieve the highest rank in your guild or personal ranking all right maybe that's yeah the reason why you can't skip your kvm events yeah every week it's really important for you and for us too yeah Alright, the next thing I want to show you my latest build for KVM events, yeah. 
my latest build for KVM events and okay I want to stop my farming first and go back to the town okay guys before I show you my latest build for KVM if you want to know what build skill or build equipment that I use for farming uh, MVP or other activity you can check the link above alright okay so for this yeah for KVM here is my status yeah I built higher fit than strength yeah so I put 65 points on vitality and 35 points on strength okay this is that and for the equipments as you can see here I'm using three pieces level 50 equipments yeah armor shoes and clock for the cards I using rocker cards in my armor yeah and this is the AVEC of ancient terror yeah it's really good for pvp <laughs> i will talk it later yeah in my another videos about all series sets and also i want to do a giveaway on that video so please subscribe and share and like this channel or this video yeah okay next it's dragon scale code this is my clock yeah I just got this card yesterday yeah and the last for 50 sets equipment using material card yeah all right next to the weapon shield and talisman for the weapon using level 25 yeah this is my card as you can see and also I tear it up to tier 3 yeah to get this 12.5% physical damage reflection is really good yeah combined by Osiris reset effect for the shield yeah tier 3 yeah still no cards and for talisman yeah I'm using highest talisman yeah so I can spam my auto counter skills yeah that's a really good uh, skills yeah for knight yeah with vitality status and the difference is here yeah I'm using two level 30 accessory yeah still level 30 yeah I'm progressing to up it to level 40 yeah I'm using vitality blue accessory so as you can see here I get the huge fit from upgrading level 15 yeah right and the refinement still level 1 yeah using two accessory vitality blue accessory okay that's enough yeah for equipment i think okay guys the next is skill build yeah for tanking or kvm yeah i'm using at the same time yeah for tanking and kvm so here is my full build for kvm using fatal blow 5 base 5 yeah i didn't use magnum brick yeah <laughs> increase hp recovery tans yeah it's a must yeah for you as a tank so you can boost up your regeneration from items yeah like yellow potion pvp or white potion pvp letters so sword mastery must level 10 yeah now i'm currently in 9 per 10 yeah still level 9 provoke level 5 yeah and do level 3 maybe later I will max it out yeah after unlocking the shadow gear yeah because when using endure our reflection damage is increased yeah later I will talk or explain in other video that's for swordman yeah the point skill on swordman is 10 uh, 15 20 28 and 38 yeah in here yeah okay let's move to the skill for knight yeah in the knight using ssb or sword speed boost level 10 it's good yeah because when you have a party with blacksmith the effect is stuck yeah so final ispd from ssb is 60 percent and additional from blacksmith adrenaline rush yeah it's increased also yeah so it's good yeah to stack it it buff 
So still hard, mas level 10. Skip double blow because we don't use auto attack ya. Yeah. Auto counter. Nah, if you have a high haste ya, yeah, you can use this auto counter on level 2 ya. Yeah. Or maybe level 4. But because my haste still low, so I just use this level 1 ya. Yeah. To achieve the lower total cooldown ya. Yeah, because total cooldown is fixed cooldown uh, plus variable cooldown ya. Yeah. Cavalry Combat level 5, Cavalry Training level 8, Bowling Base Mass level 10 because of what? Uh, between level 1 or level 10, the variable cooldown is same ya. Yeah? Uh, it's 20 seconds. So that's why the highest level, so the highest damage output you get and the same variable cooldown you get ya. Yeah? Charge Attack level 1 and I didn't up this aura blade yeah so this is my kvm build or tank build yeah you can use both yeah in pve or pvp content all right guys with this setting let's try to do some pvp yeah so that's the potion from osiris as you can see Yeah, the poison effect is really good. Yeah, so the priest will die because of what? Because of the poison effect. Yeah, target their priest first. So the priest will die. Okay, die one. <laughs> nah, that's the Osiris effect, yeah. 40k, and not 40k, 4k damage, yeah. Four K damage again. Okay, stun ya, yeah. each other stun. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, the Osiris effect is really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, the. Ya, yeah. ambil ya. Alright guys, maybe that's all ya. The reason why you can't skip your KVM events or KVM activity every week ya, yeah, three times per week. And also I already share my latest build from status and skill build and also equipment built and including its cards yeah i'm using now so maybe that's all for me for this video i hope you enjoy and can get a benefit or usable information from this video and also i want to remind you please subscribe this channel and share this channel because maybe uh, in upcoming weeks I will give you a video that contain a giveaway activity from Popayama channel. Okay, so thank you so much and see you in my next video and my stream. Bye bye. Thank you. Oke, okay, sekian dulu video kali ini. Jangan lupa di like, comment, subscribe, dan share sebanyak-banyaknya ya. Thank you.